You'd better make sure you reach the old camp in one piece. What are you doing here? Making sure no one gets near the exchange place. Especially one of those cutthroats from the new camp. You're the new guy they chucked in today, right? That's me. Then you'd better watch out for the guys from the new camp. I work for the old camp. Same as the others you saw at the exchange place. I assume you've talked to Diego. Yes, I have. Good. Then you know what's what around here. I saw a woman being sent down with the goods. Yeah, the ore barons get everything they want. Do you mean to say the king exchanges women for ore? They're convicted criminals too, of course. But if Gomez hadn't asked for them, they'd be sitting in some dungeon or other. I'm not sure what's worse. When I was washed ashore, one of the guys punched me in the face. They do that to all the newcomers. They call it Standing Godfather. Oh, are all the guys like that in the old camp? We do have a few suckers, but they won't touch you as long as you pay them protection money. Why do I have to watch out for the guys from the new camp? Compared to the new camp, the old camp's a quiet, peaceful sort of place. The new camp doesn't get any deliveries from the outside world. Most of the rogues there just steal whatever they need. And the old camp? The ore barons have everything under control. Next in line to them are the guards, followed by the shadows. The diggers are the lowest. Everyone who arrives here starts out as a digger. If you want to become something better than that, you'll have to get accepted as a shadow first. I'm looking for a weapon. There should be some old weapons by the derelict mine, further down the canyon. But don't go and start a war with nothing but a rusty pickaxe for a weapon. Those things are slow and heavy. An inexperienced fighter should never use one of them, unless it's an emergency.
What do you want? I want to warn you. If you continue this way, you'll be entering our hunting ground. What do you hunt? Mostly scavengers. There's a lot of meat on them. Besides, it ain't too hard to get them. Once you know how. Really? How's that? Ask my friend Drax here. He knows more about these things than anyone. Why is this area so dangerous? You've just arrived, haven't you? There are different areas in this colony which are all more or less dangerous. The paths between the camps are quite safe, but even there you might come across some wolves which look on you as uh, easy prey. And that's exactly what you are until you get a proper weapon and armor. Where do I get a map? Ask the people in the old camp. There's a cartographer living there. Maybe you can steal one of his maps. If you manage to do it, take one from me as well. Why? Doesn't he sell the maps? If you get enough ore to pay for them. Tell me more about the areas of the colony. If you travel between the camps, you'll need a map to distinguish 
pass and dead ends. Dead ends often lead you to dangerous canyons where you encounter creatures you'd better avoid. Do not enter the old ruins. There are too many around here, and most of them are old fortifications dating back to the time of the first orc war. Some are abandoned orc dwellings. There are often orcs in those ruins, or even worse creatures. I'd avoid those places, especially at night. And one more hint, don't go into the forest. Where can I get better equipment? The nearest place is that old camp. Just follow the path that brought you here. But you can get the stuff cheaper in our new camp, provided you know the right people. If you go to the old camp, ask for Mordrag. He's one of us. For just a little ore, he'll sell you the proper goods. Thanks for your help. Don't go thinking everyone's gonna be so friendly, kid. There may not be much in a newcomer's pockets, but some folks would even beat you up for a pickaxe. I'll keep it in mind. You're hunting, aren't you? Looks like it. What do you want? Do you have some hints for the hunt? I could teach you a few things, but everything has its price. Which would be how much? A good gulp of beer will do to start with. Then we'll see. Here you are. Take a beer and tell me about hunting. Scavengers. That's what we call the big birds. Should be attacked one after the other. It's easy to lure single scavengers from the pack. If you come too close, they'll become irritated. After a while, they'll storm in your direction. At this point, you should be waiting for them with a raised weapon. If you manage to strike the beast before it hits you, you have to keep fighting. Then you'll be able to defeat the creature without being hurt yourself. If it hits you first, well, just don't let him. What else can you tell me about hunting? A lot, but it'll cost you more than a beer. If you know how, you can take the creature's teeth, claws, and skin. It's hard to get them, but they are valuable. At least every merchant will trade those things with you. You're demanding a lot for your advice. Possibly, but you can earn a lot of ore with this knowledge. All the animals you kill without knowing how to cut them up will just rot away. That's a wasted opportunity of skinning them and selling the fur at a high price. If I were you, I'd try to gain this knowledge as soon as possible. Lucky for Let me pass. Let me pass. Hi, I'm new here. How nice for you. Is that the old camp over there? No, that's the new camp. The old camp is underneath the bridge. What are you doing here? What's it look like? Regarding the bridge, of course. We make sure that no beasts cross the bridge. Make sure you get to the old camp. They're holding a pickaxe for you. Hee <laughs> hee!
Have you got any advice for me? Yeah, don't go in the forest on your own. Unless you're strong enough to fight off all the beasts.